Welcome Soul family. Today we are doing the personality of Go Yoon Jung. She was the lead in the second season of Alchemy of Souls. That's how I know her. And uh, let's see her personality. Spirit, please show me the personality of Go Yoon Jung. Again, a very interesting spread. We have her central personality as the fool, and we have a central influence as the nine of wands. Now, with this, I feel she's a very optimistic personality. She is someone who, you know, takes risk and she likes to try new things. She is, uh, you know, there is so much of yellow over here. This is what I feel. And with the sun, I feel her personality is very, very bright. She always looks at the good side of life. She's always like, you know, uh, life is going to take care of itself. She has this inherent feeling that she's lucky. And, you know, uh, that things will just pan out, play out. And she just goes with the flow. She's a woman who goes with the flow. Yet she does have a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, things up her sleeve in terms of, you know, a lot of thoughts which she keeps to herself. Uh, a lot of troubles which she carries around. But... Uh, Overall, she's like someone who is just so happy-go-lucky. With the Nine of Wands, what we have is a person who is very hardworking. So even though she's a very carefree person, she's someone who puts a lot of effort in what she does. She is not somebody who's lazy or, you know, who will just sit by thinking life will take care of herself. So even though she has a very positive attitude, she's somebody who also is very hardworking. She puts in a lot of effort and you know she has put in a lot of effort in her life and she's waiting for the results she's waiting for that to come by now if we look at her past influences we have the page of wands a very young person who's full of ideas fresh full of ideas her past has been pretty okay i would not say you know there's been very major trauma in her past she comes from a good family uh you know with good relationships a very average family i would say you know a regular family uh, she has, um, she's somebody who's full of ideas, innovative. She comes from a creative family, I would say that. You know, where creativity has been given a lot of importance. In future, we see her juggling with her finances. We see her doing investments. We see her juggling her time and money. And she's going to go through a little bit of ups and downs even in her career in terms of, you know, It'll take some time for her to become stable before she actually has a stable amount of money which she desires. With her identity cards, very interesting. We have the High Priestess. So this shows a woman who's very secretive. You know, she's got that mysterious allure about her. She's somebody who, um, you know, who's very wise. Sometimes when you talk to her, she will appear very childish. And sometimes when you talk to her, there will be that innate wisdom which comes in. And she is different to different people. So, you know, her different friends will have different facets of her personality. She will only give you what, you know, you, she thinks you can handle. If she thinks you don't have the capacity to understand her wisdom, her depth, she's not going to, you know, show that part. She has definitely, uh, you know, she somebody might be having a little bit Scorpio influence in her chart. Because I think she carries a lot of secrets. I got the same feeling when I saw the bundle of the fool, you know. It's like somebody who's so positive yet carries a lot of hidden depth and hidden secrets inside her. It gives her a very mysterious, mysterious, uh, you know, feel a lot about her. The second identity she is, is, you know, I feel this shows me logic. She, uh, even though she's very emotional because we have the moon over here, she does everything in her life, you know, um, she weighs it with logic. She will always, uh, she's not someone who just acts on her emotion. She weighs everything with her, you know, with her mind. And she reasons it out whether she should do something or not do something. And uh, she's somebody I feel who is fair, who will, uh, you know, um, she may not, when, when she cannot emotionally react to something she will react to it logically 
That is what I feel over here. In the public, we see her as a knight of pentacles. Somebody who is very careful, you know. Uh, she is careful with her public image. She uh, is careful when she is out in how she appears and uh, what people perceive of her. Because, uh, you know, she is... Um, She's very well aware that her public image matters a lot. And she takes care of it. She'll be very practical about her public image. You will not hear things about her, which, you know, any wild uh, stories or anything out in the public. She'll be very, very careful about it. When you know her in private, she is going to be very loving. And I think she's very romantic in nature. She has a very strong fantasy life. She is, you know, dreaming of meeting a soulmate. Uh, inside, she's very, very romantic, very soft, and um, a very loving person. That is what I would say. Her fears, she is not financially stable right now. And she fears, uh, one of her deep fears is that she's going to take a lot of time to reach away the goal which she wants to. And uh, she is worried whether she'll be able to have the patience to see that through, you know. She wants things fast and she feels she won't be able to get them fast. And that is what her fears. She wants financial stability right now. Her greatest desire is to, you know, transform herself. She wants to constantly improve, constantly be better than what she is. And she has this need of self-improvement. And I think she's the kind who will read a lot of self-help books. How she can get better, how she can transform herself. I think when we fo if we follow her, she'll be someone who looks different in every series that she does because she likes this whole makeover, you know, transformation thing. So she also is very spiritual, I feel. There is this very spiritual connection in her and uh, she desires that spiritual, um, uh, you know, knowledge, spiritual um, abilities or spiritual, what do you say? She is attracted to the spiritual life. That is also what I would say about a personality. So this was Go Yun Jung and let's look at her career. Okay, uh, with her we see in the past we have the Knight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles and we have the Seven of Wands. Now, with these cards, what I feel is she had maybe someone who helped her out in her career. Maybe somebody who financed her, somebody who helped her, or maybe from her own family, or maybe her father or her parents. Somebody helped her, you know, get through uh, into showbiz, into this, into this line. Uh, maybe somebody scouted her. Whatever, there was some some very good support which she had. But she also faced a lot of negativity in her initial part of her career. She is very ambitious. She went for it. But, you know, she faced a lot of negativity. It was not easy for her to handle so much of negativity coming her way. I don't know what kind of scam. Maybe a scandal or something must have happened in her past where she faced this. And, you know, that gave her a bitter taste in her mouth. But right now in the present, she has achieved, you know, a very good place. She's the queen of pentacles. She's, you know, made some money. She is pretty satisfied with her life. And she's also got the fame and allocates which she wanted. And I see a lot of people vying for her attention now for new projects. So a lot of people are now trying to get her into a uh, new projects. So this is a very good phase of her life, which is going on. Where she's in a very happy place in her career. But what really surprised me is the future. We have the death card coming. We have the Knight of Wands and we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, we have somebody walking away from projects. I don't know why she's doing this. Is she going to walk away and then with the Death and Rebirth card means there's big change coming. So there is some change coming in her career. I don't know what it is. But either she's going to walk away from her project, maybe going to study somewhere or maybe travel. With the Knight of Wands... Um, Is she going to do something else? You know, she's going to do some other thing. Uh, it might not. And when I see this, see this fire here, this fire here. And 
So it could be a different type of project which she plans to do. Something completely different. She might walk away from what she's doing right now. And definitely a big change is coming. That is for sure. She likes, if we saw her personality, we realize, you know, that she likes this born again, rebirth, makeover completely. She might get bored doing the standard stuff. She's not someone who likes doing the regular, uh, you know, um, regular roles. She likes doing different things. And it has to ignite her passion, what she's doing. So she might just change everything. So, yeah, we we'll follow her. Let's see what big change is coming in her life, in her career. And now let's look at her love life. Okay, so in her past, she's had a relationship which was kind of devastating to her. Because it was with a person who was very well off, who was pretty rich and he was very charismatic. But he broke her heart. And she went through a lot of pain and a lot of um, this kind of really affected her in a very big way in her past. The person was very charismatic, very, you know, persuasive. Must be a definitely an older person. But um, so this, this, this hurt has, you know, closed her up to a large extent. Because now she all, all she wants is rest, you know, she's tired. She's tired emotionally and she doesn't, she's not ready for any relationship right now. Though I think she's in the, she's having a small crush. We have the page of cups. So there is a crush happening over here. And actually there are many people who are right now interested in her. She has a line of people interested in her. So she can pick whoever she wants. But she's having a small crush. But the thing is, I don't see that going anywhere in the future. The crush, chances of that developing might be very less because... She's going to get busy with other projects. She's going to get interested in work. And then we have the Four of Cups where, you know, we see her rejecting her emotions. We don't see her accepting those emotions. And a large part is because of the hurt which she's had before. With the Knight of Swords, um, I feel she's going to concentrate more on, um, you know, her ambitions rather than her love life right now. If she had given that a chance, maybe things would have developed. But I don't think she's going to give it a chance. There's a lot of potential in the crush. But uh, I don't see that happening. With the Knight of Swords. This is it. I feel she's going to turn her back on it. Is the reading? <clears throat> That was the reading for Go Yoon Jung. I hope you all enjoyed this. And if you all did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much.